This video focuses on the use of target aliasing and corridor clipping in Power En-ROAD Select Series 4. Target aliasing allows an end condition to target corridor surfaces or features other than the feature defined in the template. The clipping feature allows you to remove areas of overlap when working with multiple corridors in a single surface. In this example, you can see that I have two corridors present in my model. This corridor is named Highway 431, and this corridor is Ramp A. You can see in the cross-section view of these two corridors that the end conditions from Highway 431 and the end condition from Ramp A are overlapping. This is because in the template both of these end conditions are seeking the active surface. In reality what we want to happen is for these two end conditions to be trimmed at the point of in intersection so that we have one smooth proposed surface between the two corridors. The first step in achieving this will be to use target aliasing. The target aliasing command is located in the task menu under Civil Tools, Corridor Modeling. And it's this command, Define Target Aliasing. So we'll select that and we're prompted to locate corridor. So in this situation, I want to have Ramp A target Highway 431. So I'll select the Ramp A corridor which brings up my target aliasing dialog box. Now you can see here the first option is target. In this pull down, you'll see a list of all the in condition targets for the current corridor. In ramp A, only the active surface is currently listed as a target. In the surface or corridor list, you'll see a list of all the available aliases for the current target. So for the active surface we have a choice of setting an alias for corridor highway 431 or the active terrain model which is original. This is our existing ground. Also happens to be the active surface. So the first thing that we want to do is highlight corridor highway 431 and select add to add it to our list of aliases. Now that we've done this, instead of the end condition targeting the active surface, the end condition is going to target Highway 431. Now it's very important here that we also add the existing surface to our list of aliases. This is because the order of the list indicates the priority of the target aliases. So if the end condition is unable to solve to Highway 431, which towards the end of the corridor here, it, it will not be able to solve to Highway 431. If it's unable to solve to Highway 431, we want it to be able to go ahead and solve to the existing surface. So remember, the order here is important in the order in which the end condition is going to attempt to solve. Let's remove both of these. If I happen to have added them in the wrong order, you can simply highlight the one you wish to move up and select Move Up. Okay, so now that I've set up the target aliasing, I can click OK. The corridor will reprocess. And you can see now that Ramp A is targeting Highway 431. So we're halfway there. The next step is going to be to use this Ramp A as a clipping reference for our mainline Highway 431. This can be easily accomplished by selecting the Add Clipping Reference tool. You can see you're prompted to select the corridor to be clipped. So I'll select Highway 431. Next, you're prompted to locate the first clipping reference. So we'll go in and select Ramp A. And right click to reset to complete. The corridor will process again. 
And sometimes you need to skip this forward to get that to reset. So we'll do that. And you can see now that we have ramp A targeting our main line and then our main line being clipped by ramp A. So our end result is this smooth surface combining the two corridors.